Peace and Love family. We're back and now we're making some delicious alkaline electric creamy curry stew. Stay tuned for the full recipe. First, we're going to input two tablespoons of grapeseed oil into our saucepan. We are going to add one whole yellow or red onion to our pot. Now this is the star of the show. We're going to use from salt to peppers alkaline curry alternatives. This is absolutely amazing because you get that curry flavor without actually having to use curry. So the first thing we're going to do is toast the curry powder. And this takes about 30 seconds to make. So you just switch it around in a pot with the onions. So toasting the curry powder or the curry alternatives basically helps to enhance the flavor of the curry. Next, we're going to add some red pepper. I'm going to add a little bit more onions and you can add some scallions. I'm also going to put in my cooked chickpeas. So I'm going to mix in all that electric goodness together. Look at how amazing it looks already. Next, you are going to add in two cups of water into the pot. That way the chickpeas also soak in all that electric sauce. We're going to add some onion powder. That's about two tablespoons of onion powder. You're going to add a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a teaspoon of oregano and basil, just for adding extra spice to this goodness. You can also add a teaspoon of dill into it. Then you're going to mix in all that electric goodness. Then you can also add in half a teaspoon of sea salt or as much as you like. This step is completely optional, but this is my favorite thing to do just to add some veggies into the pot. So I added about two cups of kale and you know this cooks down. So it looks like a lot now, but it's going to be nothing by the time the stew is finished. I also added some more scallions in there. <laughs> Next, we're going to mix in all of that goodness in there. That kale just add that beautiful pop of color. You can stop right here, but if you want to get the extra creaminess, you can add a half a pack of our coconut cream that's available at foodfreenigoose.com. So you're going to stir in that coconut cream in there. And the only ingredient is coconut cream, no all the extra additives. So the coconut cream adds the creaminess and also gives it a nice smooth consistency. Now, if you like your chickpeas to be extra saucy, you can add another cup of water to the pot and just let it saute down for the two minutes. That way the sauce thickens. And the end result should be this. Look at how amazing this looks. You can pair it with our spelt roti. You can pair it with some quinoa, wild rice. You choose. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace, family.